I'm rolling a death knight. Uh, this is my second video. Mm, you're all being introduced to my voice. Alright, so in, here's the introduction to the Ebonhold. Uh, the archer is Ebonhold. There's a rune forge in the background there. It's uh, two floors, and that orb you use in a quest later on. So here's my character coming up. Um, I call him Necrovas. You as you see in the intro. First, pick up this quest. You gotta head over to the man that escapes me. I can and yes, that is the Lich in the background. Uh, I can't remember what he's talking about, but he's talking about getting, bringing the scourge around to the world. And if you're really into lore, it's kind of a cool speech. Um, I remember first coming here and handing the quest. I was freaking out. I'm like, what was that? But it was the Lich King. So anyway. So yeah, this is the guy. Hopefully I'll see his name when I release the video, but... Alright, let's finish this quest. Uh, this first quest is, um, you gotta grab a sword from one of the racks. Alright, you can accept it. There we go. Okay, you get rune forging and you get a rune weapon. It has 29 strength and 18 stamina, I believe. Alright, so you pick up the sword over there. Try it back over. Um, there we go. Oh, I think, yeah, my character forgot. I forgot to, uh, enchant it also. You got enchanted. Uh, sorry. Room crap. Room forge it. And, um, that's how you finish the quest. Yeah, they did a great job with the Ammon Hold. Like, excellent work with it. Alright, just hand in the quest. There you go, I got the sword. Let me equip it. There we go. Okay. Now... This quest you got to, I think this is the quest that you gotta. Yes, there's rune forging I just got. So you gotta use the rune forge on your weapon, and um, you gotta actually enchant it. And it's actually better for than actually getting real enchanting for death knight anyway. Later on in the game, uh, you get new spells. So um, I enchanted it with something that gives me 20% increase in damage every so often. Uh, to its chest. Frost and shadow damage. Alright, in this quest, I have to go kill one of these guys. Sorry I uh, cut the video a little too fast, but quick. I wanted to make it quick, as that guy I just said. Alright, and then here, the first ability I used was uh, uh, ice, ice, ice Touch, really. Icy Touch. And then I used Death Coil, Blood Strike, Another Icy Touch, Leg Strike. You can look up the abilities in you know, Wow Wikipedia. It works on there. Um, they got all the abilities on there. Alright, got him down. I finished up the quest. Gotta head back to the blue man. I think it's actually Noth the. Noth uh, I can't read it. Instruct the Instructor Vanius or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, that's, that's my friend Mork. We did shut off vent. So, um, you guys may hear him just in this part of the video, that's it. Anyway. For this quest, you gotta, uh, this is where you use the orb. You just gotta accept the quest, and there you go. You turn into this orb. It gets a cool cut, cool cut, cool cut scene, but I, uh, missed it. I didn't get it recorded for some reason. Alright, for the first one, you gotta, um, use the spell. Um, if you're into lore, just follow the quest lines, because I can't exactly remember what it actually said, but you're trying to get intel from the Scarlet, and um, this whole storyline is about getting pretty well wiping the Scarlet from the face of the earth, which doesn't exactly work. You, you'll see, because I'm going to finish up the whole storyline. Alright, so cast it here. That's the barracks. You can also cast uh, a spell that actually summons ghouls. I actually didn't do it. I probably should have done it, because it would have been kind of cool. But, um... Alright, done that one. It uh, summons ghouls on top of every one of them to distract them. Alright, and then the next one is over there. The church. Didn't feel like flying all the way over there, so I cut it off. Alright, using the spell. Some sort of channeling spell. Alright, head back over here. I, I remember it always reminded me every time I did it. I'd done it three times now. I rolled one, and then I got bored of that character, and then rolled another. Now I got a 58 undead. This is just me re-rolling it for the sake of you guys, but um, yeah, I always thought it was like, 
I know it's a geek talk, but I always thought it looked like the Lord of the Rings, the Sauron guy, the red eye. Alright, let's hand this in. Alright, can this quest into Mograine? Uh, and I think Mograine's father or his son. You lore guys out there, you can leave me a comment to tell me what it is. Is either he is or his son or his father is in SM Armory. He's the final boss and the only boss. Alright, so accept that quest. Oh yeah, and I got the 70 upgrade uh, in run speed and only works on the ebb and hold. It's kind of nice to get around in because you can't use your mount. So, um, I also got a nice necklace too. Alright, and right when I hand this quest in here, I get to fly down here on this griffin. But, psych. I'll leave that for next time. My video's running out, so I'm gonna do a little bit more on the Death Knight next time. Um, show a bit more of the beta stuff uh, down below at the Death's Breach. And once I'm done that stuff, I'm gonna start doing my Rep Paladin. For all those Paladins out there, Rep Paladins own. The Divine Storm is awesome. Just look forward to it, you guys. I'll talk to you later.